Dear friends, let's take a trip to the heart of North Kandahar, where the town of Aino Mina is presented as a masterpiece of efforts and developments in Afghanistan. This is a story of reconstruction after decades of war and destruction. This city is a field that arose from destruction and takes life to a new dimension by creating modern facilities, employment, and improving life. With modern buildings, residential projects like Ainyomina, and the creation of Delaport, this is a spot that rewrote history and led Afghans to a bright and hopeful future. In this journey, let us be aware of the amazing developments and developments of this tourist spot and ask questions about the effects of these developments on people's lives. Can you join me on this adventure and become a part of the success story of Aino Mina Town, a large town in the north of Kandahar City, which is a clear example of reconstruction and progress in Afghanistan? Creating jobs, preventing capital flight, and bringing about changes in people's lives are among the good results that the construction of Ainu Mina in Kandahar has brought. Decades of war devastated Kandahar and the rest of the country, but in recent years, billions of dollars have poured in for construction purposes, and millions of refugees have returned to Afghanistan. New neighborhoods have been created around the city, and a number of buildings have been built in a modern style. Some residents of the city have access to clean drinking water and electricity, and the government is working to extend these services to all homes. The city relies on electricity from the Kajaki hydroelectric plant in neighboring Helmand, which is being upgraded or expanded. About 32 kilometers north of the city, Dela Dam, the second largest port of Afghanistan, is located. A new residential project for up to 2 million people is on the northern edge of the city. Originally called Kandahar Valley and initiated by Mahmud Karzai, the project was announced to build up to 20,000 single-family homes and related infrastructure such as roads, water and sewage systems and social buildings, including schools. Recently, it won two awards, Residential Project and Sustainable Project of the Year at the Middle East Architect Award. Many high-ranking civil servants and civil servants, as well as wealthy businessmen, live in this area, which is a safer community in Kandahar. Work on the next $100 million project began in 2011. Also, the construction of Hamidi Settlement in Morchi Kotal area of the city started in August 2011. This town is named after Ghulam Haider Hamidi, the mayor of Kandahar who was assassinated by militants. In July 2011, along the Kandahar Urzugan Highway in the northeast of the city, the new city will have 2,000 residential and commercial plots, including new roads, schools, commercial markets, clinics, canals, and other facilities. The town of Aino Mina, with 20,000 acres of land, is home to more than thousands of families from every part of the country. In these years, the construction of this city created jobs for more than 250,000 people and now 800 people are working here. Those who earn from 15 to 150,000 Afghani per month. Every year, thousands of tourists from all over Afghanistan and the countries of the region visit the beauty of this city, the beauty of which billions of dollars have been invested. This spectacular place with an area of 20,000 acres of land is home to more than thousands of families from every part of Afghanistan. It has dozens of hospitals, sports clubs, educational centers, modern mosques, and hundreds of buildings with modern architecture. In this city, the house of Mullah Omar, the leader of the Taliban, and Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, were once located in this city. The information shows that tens of millions of US dollars have been embezzled from the proceeds of the national project for the construction of the Ainu Mina settlement in Kandahar, and tens of thousands of square meters of land in this city have been usurped for at least 10 years. Located in Kandahar province, Ainu Mina is a culturally appropriate suburban development that showcases the potential of Afghanistan's emerging economy and will create more than 2,000 new homes. 
the mosque, which is slowly rising in a location that presents the backdrop of the Friday mosque against the mountains, has houses, commercial properties, health and recreational facilities, transportation networks, and more. At the center of the development is a park with a number of water features and a wide pedestrian path. The route forms a major artery, linking the main operational and residential areas of the development. Four other smaller paths lead from the central park to local neighborhoods and amenities, allowing for walking throughout the site. The park unifies the entire development and helps create a sense of community. There were a number of main sustainable development goals in this project. These included creating a resilient and sustainable development to improve the well-being and health of residents. Another key concern for the client was to minimize waste and use of resources. Inomenia is an iconic development that sets a precedent for future projects in Afghanistan, encouraging investment and self-confidence as the city continues to grow. This is the benchmark for a self-sufficient lifestyle in the countryside of Kandahar. In this settlement, for example, a house with six bedrooms and six bathrooms with a land area of about 300 square meters, each room has an independent bathroom that residents can use privately. In addition, a separate building is also available, which includes a room and a bathroom for guests, and it is considered as a house. It costs about 60,000 US dollars. The town of Inomina in the north of Kandahar city is an amazing example of development and progress in Afghanistan. This settlement has created jobs, prevented capital flight, and improved people's living conditions. After years of war and destruction, Modern buildings and facilities such as Delaport and Inomina residential project have been built. These projects have not only provided modern services to the people of this area, but have also been recognized as good examples of urban development. People in this town benefit from clean water and electricity, and the government is trying to provide these services to most areas. These developments have attracted the attention of tourists and indicate positive developments in people's daily lives. Thank you for watching.